Welcome to Star Citizen and the Platch Tour Guide. In this guide, we will go into all the concepts and areas of the Star Citizen Pledge Store, as it can be very confusing with its special mechanics and systems, especially for newcomers and beginners. In addition, we take a closer look at advanced options such as the buyback system, the possibility of transferring items and packages to other accounts, the possibilities of a melting and of course some tips and tricks. In addition, this guide is completely modular, so you can use the timestamps in the video to jump directly to the parts that are of interest to you or that you would like to see again. It should be noted in advance that the shop system for Star Citizen will change considerably in the course of further development, as the real money purchase of various, especially larger and more expensive ships, as well as various upgrade options are not permanently planned and this has already been communicated several times by the developers. In advanced versions that go into a beta or even a release area, the real money purchase options will therefore be considerably limited or even significantly changed and adapted. Final details on this have not yet been determined or even announced. However, the Pledge Store will continue to offer extensive opportunities to support the development of this sci-fi game through so-called pledges and to receive in-game items and ships in return. We therefore start on robotspaceindustries.com and the Pledge Store. But first of all, a big thank you to the real ladies and gentlemen who make this video possible with their support as Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. Thank you! Once on the website, we find the Pledge Store in the top right hand corner, where we come across many terms and options that have some special features. Here we will go into all the terms and explain the system and the mechanics behind it. The Pledge Store is the only official way to buy items, spaceships, game packages or an optional subscription to Star Citizen for real money or so-called store credits. But what is a pledge anyway? With our pledge we support the further development and in return we receive a promise, which can be represented in various ships, packages or items, which we receive in return for our support. We do not directly buy an item or ship, but support the development and receive items in return for the support. However, to access the Persistent Universe or to the not yet available Squadron 42 single player expansion, we need a game package. These game packages, which are necessary for access outside of special free fly events, are only available for the Persistent Universe as a combination with Squadron 42 or Squadron 42 Solo. We always recommend the cheapest game package for about $45, since we can buy all items and ships, expect for a few promotion items directly in the game for in-game currency. Included in every game package is a Star Citizen Digital Download, your permanent access to the Persistent Universe, starting money, an insurance and a hangar. If Squadron 42 is also included in the package, you will have the Squadron 42 Digital Download included. Reduced game packages are only available for special events, where you can save up 25%. In addition, you will often find significantly higher insurance periods as well as a special additional item, such as a ship paint or equipment. And no matter which game package you buy, you can upgrade the ship from the package to another in stages at any time and without any disadvantages. It is important, however, that you use a referral code when creating your account or a permanent bonus on your account. We will come to this in a few moments. The Hangar. Here you will find all the items, game packages, other equipment or even event items that have been deposited in your account during participation. A complete overview of your entire account, so to speak. And also applied upgrades, still available upgrades or equipment items can be tracked or viewed in a filtered manner. We recommend using the CCU tool at the end of the video, especially for larger hangers and many items, which gives you a much better overview. War Bonds This describes special purchases in the shop that can only be made with real money, 
There is also the option of buying with so-called store credits, but this is excluded for warbond offers. Warbond offers are usually heavily reduced and offer special additional items or extended insurance periods. Store credits, on the other hand, can be used for all non-warbond offers in order to make purchases in the shop. These can be generated by melting down items or ships that have already been paid for with real money. It is also possible to melt down packages or items received from other accounts and thereby generate store credits. In the purchase process, we can then pay for non-warbond offers with store credits, whereby no taxes are due here, since we had already paid taxes for our store credits before. Melting down is the conversion of a package or item into store credits, whereby the item moves from our hangar into the so-called buyback, and we can then no longer use this item. When melting down, we also get the value of store credits that the item has. Here the calculation is made without the taxes paid at the time of purchase. However, if we melt down a ship or package that has already been upgraded, we always receive only the basic item without any upgrades applied in the buyback. The value of the upgrade on the other hand is returned in full as store credits. In the buyback, we find all the melted down items, although there are some special features here. Depending on the account status, we have one or two opportunities per quarter to buy back items from the buyback with store credits, without using fresh money. However, if we have melted down a reduced warbond upgrade, we will find this upgrade again in the buyback, without the original reduction, so we will have to pay the non-reduced price when buying it back. We can always buy back all items in the buyback with real money without a limit, even if the item is not currently for sale in the shop. With the gift option, we can send items or packages that were purchased as warbond with real money to other accounts, which enables trading. This so-called grey market, however, is not directly supported by CIG and is therefore entirely at your own risk. Items paid for with stock credits, on the other hand, cannot be transferred to other accounts without further ado. The cross-chassis upgrade and upgrade chains Via the so-called CCUs, we can upgrade the ship to another ship, as long as the value of the target ship is higher than that of the source ship. If both ships have the same value, an upgrade is not possible. You can also click on all ships in the upgrade window to get an overview of all available ships and their respective upgrade values. On the right hand side, however, you will see all the ships currently available for upgrading. The selection is very limited outside of special sales. And through special warbond upgrade offers on sales and events, you can save several dollars on individual upgrades between ships which makes it possible to upgrade from one ship to another and use as many of these reduced warbond upgrades as possible on the way to the target ship. This then constitutes an upgrade chain, where you can save more than 50% on the final price of a ship. There are well over 20 steps possible for larger ship upgrade chains, which you can track in the hangar. Here you will also find all the additional items that were included in an update and are still available such as extended insurance periods and additional items. However, there are very expensive as well specially limited ships on which an upgrade is not possible. Through such an upgrade chain, we usually invest significantly less for a ship than its actual upgrade value represents. For example, a Liberator has a fixed upgrade value of $575, but our upgrade chain only gives us a value of $265. For further upgrades, the fixed upgrade value always counts. Should we melt down such a ship, however, we only receive the value that we have invested. And there is the hint again. All upgrades applied on the way will be refunded in store credits, but the upgrades themselves will be lost. Thus, we can save a lot with upgrade chains, but we also take away the flexibility of melting them down. Each ship has insurance, but this only comes into effect when Star Citizen is released. In addition, the insurance period is in-game playtime from release, time we spent in the game. A ship with 6 months of insurance therefore means that this insurance expires after 6 months of in-game playtime. 
Furthermore, we can also take out insurance in the game for in-game currency, whereby the costs of this should be easy bearable for every player. During the current alpha phase, we are using the in-game currency Alpha UEC, whereas UEC will be used at release. UECs obtained with a referral code or included in game packages are currently credited as Alpha UEC. It is also not possible to transfer Alpha UEC to a beta or release version. In addition, with REC we will receive our own currency only for the Arena Commander. The possibility of a paid subscription is completely optional, which we can use annually or monthly, and which offer the cheaper Centurion or the twice as expensive Emperor level. This includes various benefits, such as access to the first wave of new test versions, a free ship that changes every month, one or two special items from the subscriber shop, in the case of the Emperor the possibility to test newly released chips for a week, as well as other smaller features. For access to the exclusive subscriber shop, where we can find special items, equipment and ship paints, it is enough to subscribe for one month, where we can then access all the items released until then, and use them even after the subscription expires. You can also receive and use items from the subscriber shop as a gift from a subscriber. And the same applies to access to the first wave of a new release, if you only subscribe in that month. The other features are usually available on the various social media channels very shortly after release, and are therefore not really exclusive. However, subscription fees also count towards your concierge level, which we'll get to now. With a turnover in the pledge store of $1000, whereby taxes also count here, you receive the concierge rank, which includes access to the chairman's club. It doesn't matter if the items are still in your hangar or what they are. Special features include access to the first test wave, special customer service, a forum and chat group, a special shop offer for concierge members, which often include a small bonus in the form of a special ship paint. In addition, various in-game items or even ships are linked to the various concierge ranks, whereby these require a shop turnover of $25,000 for the maximum rank. Also exclusive are special concierge game packages, which are usually well over $1,000. With the referral program, you can refer friends and send them your referral code for account creation. This gives them a permanent bonus of 5000 Alpha UEC or UEC in the game, or often even smaller ships or vehicles for special promotions. And of course, you will find such a bonus code in the video description. If someone uses your code, you will receive smaller items in different levels, or for several thousand used codes even a destroyer. The prerequisite for this, however, is that each code used with the new account has reached $40 in sales in the pledge store. After we can buy ships that are still considered a concept or do not yet offer the full functionality in the game, we receive different loaners for this, ships that can use instead. An overview of these can be found in the constantly updated loaner matrix, which is often adapted after release of new ships. For example, for a Drake Caterpillar that is already usable in the game, we have an additional Buccaneer in our hangar due to the missing features, but only until this functionality is implemented or the matrix is changed. And finally, the promised tip for a better overview and more possibilities, the free CCU add-on offers you a clear added value here. You can find details on this in the video guide here in the channel. I bid you farewell until next time, and see you in the verse.